Good day, grade 8. I am Jean Carlos B. Macalanda, your daily teacher in fish food processing. Today, we will learn something new while having fun. So make sure that you have your modules, papers, and pen. Are we good now? Great! But before we start, let's have a prayer first. Lord, thank you for this day, for the presence of everyone in this call. For once again, we are gathered and given the opportunity to appreciate life and your words. Forgive us for our shortcomings and cleanse our hearts as we learn and live your words and example. Father, bless our endeavors, especially today's meeting. May you guide us in our discussions and may you enlighten our minds in every decision that we make. Give us your grace that we may effectively do our parts for your greater glory. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, good morning, grade 8. And for your attendance, kindly send your names together with your picture and your screenshots in our group chat. Before we get to begin our lesson, let's have a simple test. Write true if the statement is correct and false if not. You have 5 seconds to write your answer. Okay, grade 8. Are you ready? Minor troubleshooting must be done in accordance with manufacturer's specification by a carpenter who is an expert on the troubleshooting of equipment or machines that break down. Is it true or false? The correct answer is false. Very good. Next is equipment or machines which undergo regular preventive maintenance have a shorter serviceability. Is it true or false? What do you think is the correct answer? The correct answer is false. Very good. Next is to ensure that there is a smooth operation of any equipment, they must be properly maintained. True or false? The correct answer is true. Very good. Next is inspecting and checking the equipment or machines will also help determine the presence of equipment or machines that break down and cannot be used in the next processing operation. True or false? If your answer is true, then you get it right. And lastly, Troubleshooting on equipment or machines that break down is very essential in a food processing plant. Is it true or false? Hmm, what do you think is the correct answer? The correct answer is... There you go! False! Very good! There you go, students! Good job for answering the first part of our lesson. Okay, my dear grade 8, later in our discussion, you will discover why each statement is a true or false. So, do you have an idea on what we're going to learn today? Class, let us learn together. Use and maintain food processing tools, equipment, and utensils. And for today's objectives, at the end of this discussion, you will be able to First, to know the different procedures in switching off or plugging off the equipment in food fish processing. Second is, enumerate the steps in cleaning and sanitizing tools, equipment, and utensils before storing. And lastly, explain the importance of sanitary practices before using them in fish processing. 
Now let's review. In our previous lesson, we discussed the four types of tools and the unit cells used in fish processing, namely measuring devices, cutting tools, salting equipment, and smoking equipment. Before any equipment or machine is used, the things we must consider. It must first be checked to make sure that it is very functional and in good condition. Checking and inspecting equipment and machines will guarantee that all their parts are intact and that no part is missing or defective. Now let's learn together. Preventive maintenance. Preventive maintenance is a system of maintenance that aims to minimize or eliminate breakdown in equipment and machinery by a program of regular inspection and repairs. Equipment are essential machines in food processing plant that are important in undertaking activities in line with processing foods like fish, meat, fruits and vegetables through salting, smoking, drying, pickling, freezing, or canning. In every method or processing or in every method of processing or preserving the food, different kinds of equipment are used. To ensure that there is a smooth operation of any equipment, they must be properly maintained. Proper maintenance starts with regular checking and inspection of their parts, proper use of proper use or operation or manipulation, and conducting post-operation activities such as cleaning, sanitizing, applying oil and lubricants to machine parts before stowing or storing them until such time that they will again be used. Equipment or machines which undergo regular preventive maintenance have a longer serviceability and are more efficient in terms of their operation. Next, inspecting and checking condition of equipment or machines before, during, and after operation. All equipment or machines to be used in processing or preserving foods like fish, meat, fruits, and vegetables must be inspected and checked to determine their condition prior to use and even after using them. Before they are to be stowed or kept after use, they must be inspected and checked to make sure they are in good condition and ready for use in the next processing operation. Next, preventive maintenance includes the checking of the feldy. We have the machine temperature, hydraulic fluid, wear and surface condition, we have the crack, leak detection, corrosion, and lastly, we have the electric insulation. Next, preventive maintenance includes machine temperature. This is checked to avoid overheating. Next is hydraulic fluid. This must be checked to guarantee that the equipment or machine which is operated by water or other liquids moving through pipes under pressure will function well. Next is wear and surface condition. This is being checked to make sure no machine parts are deteriorating or defective due to everyday use. Next, we also have the crack. This needs to be checked to see that there are no broken parts in an equipment or machine which will cause the breakdown of the machine or as a source of leak. Next is we have the leak detection. This is checked to prevent accidental release of gas, water, oil, and etc. from the machine. Next is we have the corrosion. Corrosion is checked to minimize wear and tear of parts by washing, drying, and lubricating machine parts. And lastly, we have the electric insulation. This must be checked to guarantee 
that there are no live wires exposed during the operation of an equipment, which may result to short circuits or electrocution and even fire. Performing pre-operation activities ensures that all the tools, equipment, and utensils assembled, checked, inspected, sanitized, readed, and stowed after use are the appropriate devices required in the processing food. The following are some of the equipments used in processing foods that needs to be regularly checked and inspected before, during, and after the operation. We have can sealer. We also have pressure cooker, smoke house, refrigerator, electric fish scaler, oven and gas stove, blender, food extractor, vacuum packer, and electric poly sealer. Performing minor troubleshooting. Troubleshooting on equipment or machines that break down is very essential in a food processing plant. This is a way by which faulty or malfunctioning or defective machine parts are diagnosed and their appropriate repair or replacement is effectively done. Performing minor troubleshooting of equipment or machines that break down ensures a longer capability of the equipment or machine to be operated or used. Minor troubleshooting must be done in accordance with manufacturer's specification by a repairman who is an expert on the troubleshooting of equipment or machines that break down. The following are some of the minor troubleshooting activities that are undertaken. First, replacement of the defective parts of equipment like can sealer, pressure cooker, gas stove, and gas range, and etc. Second, second, replacement of the missing parts of a can sealer, pressure cooker, gas range, gas stove, and etc. Next, replacement of defective or malfunctioning electrical cords plugs and switch of electrically operated equipment like freezer, refrigerator, smokehouse, fish scalers, blenders, polysillers, and etc. Fourth one is applying lubricant to machine parts that are slightly undergoing corrosion on wear or wear and tear. Replacement of machine parts with cracks or leaks. Replacement of leaking pipes in equipment requiring hydraulic fluid. The following are the equipment or machines that are properly maintained or cared for. Let's start with the pressure cooker. First one, thoroughly wash with soap and hot clean water then drain completely before and after use. Second one, Lubricate the metal-to-metal -metal seal with cooking oil, petroleum jelly, and etc. to prevent the cover from scratching or sticking. Apply the lubricant on the threads of the bake-like wing nuts. Wipe away excess lubricant. Next, always keep safety openings clear to make sure steam can pass through them. Do not subject the cooker to sudden extreme temperature changes as this will cause expansion or contraction which can crack the cast aluminum pressure cooker. If you ever drop the pressure cooker, it must be examined for damage. Prevent discoloration by scrubbing with an aluminum cleaner or soap impregnated steel wool cleaning pad. And lastly, Always store the cooker in a dry area when not in use. Next is freezer. First step, use the freezer in accordance with purpose described in the user's manual. Next, properly install the freezer in accordance with installation requirements. Switch control to off before unplugging. Unplug the freezer before cleaning. 
before repairing any parts by a qualified repairman. Always grip plug firmly and pull straight out from the outlet when unplugging. And lastly, when moving the freezer away from the wall, be careful not to roll over a damage to power cord. Now, my dear students, every equipment, tools, and utensils when purchased is accompanied with a manual containing specifications as to how they are used, manipulated, operated, cared for, and stored to lengthen their serviceability. Okay, now cleaning and sanitizing these different tools, utensils, Equipment and instruments are vital. Especially amidst this pandemic, we have to make sure that total cleanliness is observed. Again, what are the preventive maintenance activities that you need to check? We have the hydraulic fluid, machine temperature, wear and surface condition, crack, leak detection, corrosion, and electric insulation. Now, what are the equipments used in processing foods that needs to check inspected regularly before, during, and after operation? Very good. We have can sealer, smokehouse, pressure cooker, refrigerator, electric fish scaler, oven and gas stove, blender, food extractor, vacuum packer, and electric poly sealer. We are now done on learning the use and maintain food processing tools, equipment, and utensils, as well as the importance of keeping them clean and sanitized for future use. Now, my dear grade 8, let's have a game. Our game is entitled, Tell Me Who Am I? Carefully read the questions and choose your answer from the options given. You have 5 seconds to write your answer. Are you ready? There is a strong odor of a gas coming from the LPG tank of the gas range in your food processing laboratory room. Now which of these will you conclude? A. The LPG tank has a leak. B. The hose connected to the LPG might be good. C. The LPG regulator is effective or letter D. The LPG has no problem. The correct answer is A. The LPG tank has a leak. Next. In order to prevent electrocution or fire due to short circuits, which of this should you do before using any equipment or machines? A. Check electrical outlets B. Just look at the plugs and switch off electrical equipment C. Do not check electrical cords D. Check your manual What do you think is the correct answer? The correct answer is Check your manual. Very good. Next is The following are the steps to follow when defrosting the refrigerator. Except A. Turn on the electric current. B. Remove all ice trays and frozen foods from the freezing unit. C. Wrap frozen foods in newspaper to keep them from thawing. D. Put the drip tray in the proper place to catch the melted ice. If your answer is A, you get it right. Next. Which of these is a manufacturer's specification concerning the use of a freezer in the food processing plant? A. Switch off before unplugging. B. Just unplug even if not switch off. C. Do not defrost regularly. D. Do not switch anymore. Hmm, what do you think is the correct answer? Well, the correct answer is... 
A. Switch off before unplugging. Very good. And lastly, why do you need to inspect and check equipment or machines before, during, and after using them? A. To make sure they are in good condition. B. To determine defective machine parts. C. To determine troubleshooting activities to perform. Or D. All of this. If your answer is D, then you got it right. Very good. At last, grade 8, were you able to learn everything? Just remember that learning can still be fun even at the comfort of your home. Again, this is your teacher, Jean Carlos B. Macalenda, your teacher that makes learning exciting. If you have questions, do not hesitate to contact me on my Facebook account, Jean Carlos Macalenda. See you in our next lesson. Have a great day!